There are two sentences children utter that are sure to make mothers cringe. The first being, Mum, Dad's kissing Auntie Cheryl again. Oh. The second is, Mum, I'm bored. The first is best dealt with by a court. The second <laughs> simply requires little imagination, as Christy Malthouse discovered. Children's development relies on playing imaginative games. But if it's raining or just playing cold outside, finding ways of keeping the kids entertained can be challenging. Former kindergarten teacher and young mum Belinda Butler knows all too well the challenges of finding new ways to keep the kids happy and stimulated. So Belinda, all of this play, I mean it's great fun for the kids, mm. but play in general has a real learning purpose, doesn't it? Um, yeah, play is really serious business. It's the way children learn. It's often referred to as their work. Yep. Um, it's probably the primary way they develop the skills that they need to become effective functioning adults. Why is that? Well, what is it in play that, that brings that out in them? It's just such a great opportunity for them to practice the skills that they need, their language skills, their motor skills, their thinking skills. Um, they do it voluntarily. Voluntarily, they do it spontaneously, they're, yep. they're built to play. Children do get bored easily, yep. um, they reach the developmental milestone they need to and they're ready to move on to the next thing. But yep. I think what a lot of parents don't realise is just by adding different things to the toys that they already have, yep. provided that the toys are op open-ended and oh. imaginative type toys, yep. um, they can get more from their toys and the kids can get more from their play. Play doesn't need to be expensive, does it? Not at all, not at all. Even the toys that I've actually got here, they've come from discount shops, they've cost a, a few dollars. It's about what you provide for the children to do with the toys, I think, rather than the toys themselves. Kids love camp because it's such an adventure. It's, you know, so different, far away from home, um, lots of different things going on in very different surroundings. I've set, set it up so that um, children can do the everyday activities that they're used to, things like getting dressed, um, they see their parents cooking food so they can cook the food themselves. It helps them to master skills and use all the muscles in their hands and develop the way that they need to. The farm is a different sort of play. It still uses um, children's imagination and creativity, but it's in a, a much finer, sort of more detailed way. And rather than take on a role of mum and dad like they would do in something like the camping scene, they tend to imagine that they are the sheep or they are the cow. And so it brings out the knowledge that they have of the animals and how farms work. Um, also, when I set it up, I added lots of different textures and um, lots of different things to feel and touch so that they're getting a lot of sensory experience as well, because sensory development's really, really important as the brain's developing in preschool years. Car painting is um, an activity that I set up for the children that involves um, using cars um, instead of paintbrushes. Paint's just such a wonderful medium. It, you know, it feels nice and it smells nice and there's bright colours and Children just absolutely love it and so I try to find as many different ways to use paint as I can. The car painting's great because um, the wheels are textured so I try to find different wheels. Some are smooth, some are patterned, um, some are big, some are small so that brings in the element too of um, children learning those sorts of concepts. Well, clearly these two know how to make the most out of their play. Maybe they could teach me something. Can you show me how to do this, Emily? Cool. And we'll be back after this.